Hello again, everybody. It's Todd Struch, the horror nerd, here at PA HorrorCon. It is Saturday, first day of the show. We're in the celebrity room. Things are rocking and rolling. We've had a very busy day today. Everybody's out to meet their favorite horror stars. I have a distinct pleasure of standing here with writer and director of Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives, Mr. Tom McLaughlin. Tom, how Hello. are you? Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. How's the show been for you so far? The show has been great. Yeah. We've, uh, like all of us who do these, these things, it always is amazing how wonderful the fans are. I mean, you know, and for us, at 35, almost 36 years to keep having people have the same enthusiasm, it's a, it's a blessing. I don't know what to say. I, I, exactly. And I always love asking that question of, you know when I when I talk to people is you know talking three decades yeah and uh, does it ever surprise you the, the sheer number of people that still come out always talk about the movie always and then of course when we go to Europe it's also you know it's like oh my god you guys are like into it and it's there's a generational thing too uh, that happened that not a lot of people saw it when it first opened but they saw it on either you know beta VHS right you know the laser disc and then DVDs blu-rays and then of course now streaming and it's a whole major generation like one after another after another and you get people that are or guys that are like 14 15 years old just saw it for the first time and then guys that are like in their 70s who don't like yeah it's one of my favorite 80s movies you know so yeah, no, it's really amazing. Yeah, well, that's me. I'm a child of the 80s, so yeah. I'm, this is into all this. Ah. And my daughter is about to turn 17. So she's really into horror, so now I get to get her caught up uh -huh. on all these movies that I loved over the years. So yeah, it's that's great. great. Yeah. So, now listen, you, I, I, you've done a lot of genre work, but um, what is it like being um, the writer and director of, what, for many, what is their favorite entry in the Friday the 13th? series. It's such an iconic series. It, it's a shock. I mean, I, I, I never can say that enough times that when, I mean, let me say this about the 80s. When we were making horror movies in the 80s, we thought we were making crap. I mean, we really, like, we were, you know, we come through the 70s, and it was like Godfather and Rocky and Star Wars and all this stuff, and now suddenly, you know, those of us who love Frankenstein, Dracula, all the great monsters, we're now basically being told, no, it's like it's got to be bloodier, more gory and stuff. And it was sort of like, I, you know, how many more of these can we do? And and they're going to go into a theater and then maybe it'll last two weeks and then be gone, forgotten. That's it. We never expected, you know, Chucky and Michael Myers and Pinhead and, <laughs> and Freddy and Jason to become the iconic monsters of that era that just kept going. So, I mean, that has been sort of the biggest shock about how they really are like their own franchise in a time when, you know, we thought there wasn't ever going to be something like that. Everybody was just doing it, you know, to make money and try to get on to the next thing. So the fact that, you know, I went in and I said, well, I don't want to do just another one. I want to put humor into it. I want to bring kids into it. I want to have it a little more of a story so it's more like a movie. I didn't know if the fans were going to hate the humor and all that, but I thought, you know, I just can't do it, you know, the way it's sort of been done before. Right, right. And when it did well and we got good reviews on top of it, it was, again, shocking. Mm. And then literally just yesterday, another, um, I don't know if they call it, I guess it's not a podcast. It's like a review show uh, called uh, What the mm is Happened to. You say it. <laughs> yeah, What the Fuck Happened to Jason Lives. And it's like 20 minutes and this guy did such incredible homework. And I'm, you know, I'm on an airplane coming out here and going, this guy's just like treating it like with Citizen Kane. Every single story I've told over the last 30 something years, he knew, you know, wow. and could, you know, do a whole showing things and talking about it. And I thought that's incredible, you know, that it still goes on, not just as like a fan film, but for people that just, you know, want to still talk about it yeah. and analyze it. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Something in here, something in here is burning the hell out of my eye. So, oh, yeah, yeah, probably me. Up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I should have bathed. So you were also involved with one of my personal favorites favorite genre TV shows, and that's Friday the 13th, the series. Yeah. I love, love, love that show. Oh, yeah. And I think that 
that the fact that it had that name kind of confused everybody. Oh, yeah. It has nothing to do with I Jason know. or anything, but I still love it. Um, how, just tell us whatever you can, like a little anecdote or anything about working on that show. Well, it was, you know, after I'd finished Jason Lives, Frank Mancuso Jr., who was the producer, wanted me to do the next Jason, and I just didn't have any ideas, you know, other than, you know, Jason meets Cheech and Chong. I thought, well, Paramount owns that. <laughs> let's, let's go full on comedy. He goes, ah, I don't think so. But then he came back to me and he says, well, we're going to do Friday the 13th the series. How are you going to do that? You can't have Jason. Ke no, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. It's just, we're calling it that. Then in Europe, it's going to be called Friday's Curse. Mm. But here it was going to be called Friday the 13th. And, you know, it was, I, I was story editor on it for a while. And there was, I mean, Cronenberg did one. And yeah. so many like, really talented directors. And we all went in and we were doing 18-hour days and making these things like into little mini features. So it was great fun. Cool, cool. Yeah, and I and I still love it. Like, I had been waiting for years to be able to see it, you know, and it was never available anywhere. So thank God for all these streaming services and stuff yeah. now where we can see it. Yeah, there's a new, and I, I wish I could remember the name of it, to just, keep, you know, bought all of them and are, are showing them. Mm. Um, like Horror Net? Oh, no, I can't remember the name of it. I'm sorry. There, there are a lot of them now. I mean, Shudder shows a lot of great stuff. TV yeah. shows a lot of great stuff. So my daughter has it made, you know, because me, I used to have to haunt the home mom and pop video stores to see yeah. any of this stuff. Oh, yeah. So uh, streaming really did change. The I world. know. I, I so. can see anything anytime you want. Push a button. Exactly. Yeah. So, Tom, what are you uh, what are you up to these days? Are you working on anything new that you oh, can yeah. tell us about? <laughs> well, unfortunately, the Friday the 13th lawsuit uh, has been kind of stopping all of us who wanted to, you know, continue the series in some way. That has been sort of resolved with the writer and the producer director um, where one owns Friday the 13th, the title, and the other one owns Jason with the mask. Mm. So they still have to kind of agree if there's going to be another movie. So I've gone and made, written two scripts. One deals with Jason, you know, and it's sort of a, a sequel to my movie. It takes place in 1999 and it's the camp across from Crystal Lake that is actually a spiritual retreat for high school girls and a nun and Jason comes back what could go wrong <laughs> and these are badass girls so Jason's gonna be you know up against some girls that have no fear cool and so I have that sitting there ready to go and then I have another one that is like the prequel to Friday the 13th oh wow um, okay. so that again is another one that I have to kind of figure out when all this you know resolves right, if right, I can right. get a chance to make them very cool well I hope it comes to fruition. I do too. Really yeah. do. Tom McLaughlin, everybody. Tom, thank you so much thank for a few so minutes much. of your time. I totally appreciate it. I wish you success thank in all you. your future endeavors. Have a great rest of the weekend here at you Pennsylvania too. Horror Con. Thank you. Tom McLaughlin, everybody. This is Todd Starooch signing off from Pennsylvania Horror Con. We will see all of you in the next interview. Yeah.